afternoon. Yeah, um, full week to prepare for Derby County this week. How's the mood in the camp? Very good. Very positive. Um, despite the game on Saturday where we didn't get the results, uh, I thought the, the training was superb, fantastic, very similar to the, the last week's. Uh, I see um, a squad that is very motivated on, on, on getting forward. We all know that we put a good game on Saturday despite of the result. And we know, we know that there's a few things that we have to improve from Saturday to make sure that, uh, that we are better at home. We know that. Um, but in the end of the day, the good thing is that we realize the mistakes. And, but at the same time, we're very focused on knowing that, that we, there's a lot of positives from Saturday and that we managed to, to nullify completely an opposition and they really had one, one half chance on our goal. So that's a lot of positive as well in there. But we know that we have to do more and we have to do better. And that's with that mentality, I see that mentality in the, in the, in the squad. And they put a, a really good week in to try to, to go to Dabe and make sure that a good performance is backed by a good result. But sometimes in the game, uh, a good performance is not backed by a result. But that's the that's game of football. And at the end of the day, we need to judge the performance of a team in the end of the league, in the end of how many, how many points we get for the performance level to, that we had. So. You talk about those areas where we need to improve. How much of that is down to the manner in which we start games? Because once again against Preston, we finished particularly strong, but perhaps the start was a little bit sluggish. Yeah, a lot, a lot of things uh, they are regarding how we started, but as well how, how we press a little bit, a little bit higher. And um, and how we have a little bit more ambition when we are defending. I think we did a fantastic job on blocking the options of Preston and forcing them to to put a long ball that was easier for us to to win it. So, but as well we can. But these are being being a little bit uh, more aggressive and and use a little bit more pressing. You know. But in the end of the day, uh, that's my my work. So it's not the the players. I think the players they put a fantastic attitude. And it's my work to recognize the mistakes and, and go forward and, and, well, not the mistakes really, recognize the things that we need to or we can improve upon. Was it again an example of fine margins? There didn't seem to be much in the game. It was a set piece that ultimately decided it. And I don't think either keeper had a meaningful save to make. Yes, absolutely. I do think that we created more problems to them, more danger than, than them, but they had a massive return for the problems that they created. But that happens in the game. Uh, I remember our first game of the season, away in Brentford, we had a massive return for the problems that we created. So that's what, what I think in the end of the, of the day, football evens everything out, evens everything out. That's why it's very important to, to, to judge the performance of a team in the end of the season. At this moment, I'm happy with the, with the return that this team had. Yes, because we are in a position that we are in a, in a stable position in the league, always looking forwards and upwards. Uh, from the position that we are, and I see a mentality of the team gelling very well and getting very stronger. But that's how we take it forward, and obviously, and this is how we see the return that we had. But but our mentality doesn't change. Every time we see something that we can do better, we work to get it better. Not only us, but the players as well. I wanted to get your thoughts on the impact that Alvaro Jimenez made when he was introduced to the game, although he never got that goal that he thought he did. Um, what did you make of that determination to make an impact to the game? Surely that's what you want from substitutes. Yeah, absolutely. I think, to be fair, I think all the subs, not only in this last game, but as well on, on as, as a trend, uh, they all come in with a very right attitude. And the, the, the job that they need to do uh, is explained to them, and they know it, it's work on them, and they always, they always, they always do it. So all, this, all the subs are coming really to help the team, and that's massive for us when you make a sub, because this you need to guarantee it. Uh, I think Alvaro did the job as well as, as all the older players who, who came in after, and I think he was a little bit unlucky not to not to have uh, the goal. And and obviously he's a dangerous player when when he's in the box. He's a dangerous player, as you see, because he he kind of sniff uh, a lot of um, can foresee a lot of the the things that can happen in the box, so that make it very dangerous. And I thought we all thought that the game was exactly for him at the, at the moment because we saw the team was growing and growing into attack. 
we will have loved to be in a position that we, we start growing earlier, so we have more time, but unfortunately, it, it didn't happen. You talk about the substitutes making an impact, but with three games in a week, it's very much a squad game now. Yes, absolutely. I think everyone needs to be prepared to to know that it's very important to keep the team performing on a really good level physically. And this is more important than any 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 personal preference regarding uh, how many games I played. The important thing, and and what I like from this squad as well, I think everyone understands that that there's no individual agendas. There's the, more, the most important thing is that we sacrifice everything for the benefit of the team. And and when we have three games in a week or less than a week, uh, that's even more important. But we assess game by game. Before and that said, we only think about derby. We spoke to Christian Pedersen during the week for Blues TV. He said that the last year for him has been a steep learning curve, but he's developed so much. How do you view his progress over the past 12 months? Um, I really don't like to talk about individual players, you know, because in the end, a lot of things that I would say applies to, to everyone, really. Uh, but I think Christian is on a, since he came, came to a different league, different country. It was the second country he was playing with it in a different league, so that's good, that helps. His adaptation was quick because he already went, left Denmark to, to go play in Germany. So he adapted quicker to us than if that would be his first move abroad. Um, but he learned about the championship the hard way, you know, because he was, <laughs> in the beginning, he saw how different it is for the fullback. Um, but I think he improved and improved and, and he's growing and, and he's still a very young player, so uh, I think I rate him very much for the fact that in the end of the day is how much a player can add to the team and Christian, not only for attitude and ability, but as well with commitment for this team and for this club is massive. Mm -hmm. Our beating run came to an end. Is it now about starting another run where we go as long as we can, picking up results? Uh, in the end of the day, the championship is, is changed a little bit and I think it's very important, uh, more important than before, to try to win games. Before staying in the game and 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 wait your chance and, and if that doesn't happen you get a point was then in the end you have a, a return. But it, it's kind of changing. I think it's valuing more what you say that the fact of having the ability to win games, to turn games around like the one we turned against Stoke and unfortunately we could not turn it on Saturday, but that's important. Obviously, we want to go on a run, but uh, to go on a run, you just need to win one game. Is the next one, and that's why we only think about Derby. Just one league win for Derby this season, but not a side you can afford to take lightly. Still, plenty of quality in their squad. Oh yes, a lot, and it's a few things here. It's a it's a tough place for us to go. Last few years, it hasn't been easy. Last year, we lost one three there, and, and it was a tough day. Uh, but I see a lot of motivation in it. This season at home, although they have not win that yet, Dabe, uh, I saw a lot of the games that they played. I remember the first game of the season against West Brom. West Brom, strong team, and <clears throat> they didn't manage to win. Swansea, they didn't manage to win. Cardiff as well, which has been relegated, didn't manage to win there. So it's a tough place to go, very tough. But we go with a lot of motivation. We know that despite we didn't win in Preston, we are in a very good position. And that position that we are, it's backed by us being a very solid team and, and a team uh, that is growing week by week and we want to put that in the pitch and try to get try to get the point. Mm -hmm. Philip Clark was quoted as saying they wanted to take momentum from their late equaliser at Leeds into this weekend. There's been one or two off the field distractions for them as well. Is there ever a good or bad time to play a team in this division? No. Every game is is a we can write a book, a book about every game, really, in this is in this league. I think it's it's a fantastic league, and and I've been in the championship for a few years now, and and learned enough to know that every game is so difficult, and it's not good or bad moment. It's just the, the moment that it is. We go to derby now. Uh, they're coming from a strong uh, result at Allen Road. That is not easy, but we back ourselves. We back ourselves. We want to. To, we want to get the three points as, as much as they want and we've got to try to put it as difficult as we can for them. Jonathan Grant's got 45 minutes under his belt for the 23s during the week. Is he back into contention and available for the weekend? Well, he's back in the squad now, training full, start playing with the 23s. 
Uh, his confidence is back there. He he passed the worst moment of the injury away, and and it's getting fitter and fitter and fitter. And obviously, then we assess um, his progress. Is there any update on the Josh McEachern trial? It's going to be probably it's going to be it's going to be developing soon, okay. but um, nothing new at the moment. Cool. Uh, any fresh injuries to worry about? No. Um, Finally, another big away following heading to Derby again on Saturday. When you're stood in that dugout and you look over to the corner of any stadium and it's got a huge blues following, um, what goes through your through your mind when you look at it and they're in full voice? Oh, it's amazing. Look, I remember in Charlton, a couple of weeks ago, I remember in Charlton, the team that they made, uh, Chris Akidman sent me the picture of all the fans going in the boat to Charlton. I said, wow. You gotta be crazy about football, like we are all crazy about the game, you know, and crazy about football and crazy about your club. What they do for us is outstanding. Um, we use a lot of the images of the end of the games, away games, of the crowd, a lot of images and videos of the crowd for, for the players, because in the end of the day, we we know that we do it for them, really, and football is for them, the ones who come and, and leave the place. They spend a lot of money to come travel the country with us, and, and it's amazing, and and their support away is very much appreciated because in the end of the day, we know that they are there for us, and they are suffering when we are suffering, and they are happy when we are happy. You know, and it makes a difference. And actually, I remember that's that's a little story, but I remember that day that we played Bolton a couple of seasons ago. There was, I don't remember if it was snowing or it was really bad Tuesday night. And that support in Bolton, we won nil one, I think, on Juki, Juki Sara. Yeah. And then I thought, it, uh, because we just, we just came into the club at that moment. And then I thought, wow, you know, I thought, wow, that's proper support, yeah. Do you ever wish you were in there with them at times? Oh yeah, I would love to. <laughs> I would love to because they do suffer like us, <laughs> but when they're happy, they're happier than us, isn't it? No, no, everyone at their place, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.